Hello and welcome to another complete course by Procademy. This course is about TypeScript, a super set of JavaScript. That means TypeScript is a programming language which is built up on JavaScript. Unlike JavaScript, TypeScript has many features which allow us to write less error prone and cleaner code with some exciting new features which is not available in JavaScript yet. So in this course, you will learn all about TypeScript from scratch. You don't need to know anything about TypeScript to get started. But if you have a basic JavaScript knowledge, that is more than enough to get started with this course. In this course, you will learn all the basics of TypeScript, how it works, why we use it, and the different advantages it provides over using JavaScript. And slowly, we will dive into more and more advanced concepts of TypeScript. With this, in this lecture, let's have a brief introduction of what is TypeScript and what advantages does it provides over JavaScript. In simple terms, we can say that TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. TypeScript has all the features which JavaScript provides, plus it has some extra features like interface, access modifiers, etc., which is currently not available in the latest version of JavaScript. And TypeScript makes writing JavaScript easier and more powerful with additional features which it provides. However, we have one huge disadvantage with TypeScript. TypeScript code cannot be executed directly by the JavaScript runtime like the browser or the Node.js environment. Browsers or Node.js cannot execute TypeScript code. Then why should we use TypeScript and more importantly, how do we execute it? We have already answered the first question before, why should we use TypeScript? TypeScript has additional features which does not exist in JavaScript and hence it makes writing JavaScript code much easier and faster and also less error prone with TypeScript. Now to answer, how can we execute TypeScript code? TypeScript is not just a programming language. It is also a tool. It is a very powerful compiler which can run and compile TypeScript code into JavaScript. So when you run TypeScript code, it gives you JavaScript code in return. And JavaScript code can be executed by JavaScript runtime like browser and Node.js. So using TypeScript, we write TypeScript code where we can utilize all the new features of TypeScript and at the end, we get JavaScript code from that TypeScript code, which can be executed by the browser or other JavaScript runtime. We do not write JavaScript code directly when working with TypeScript. Instead, we write our code in TypeScript and when we compile that TypeScript code, it gets converted into JavaScript. Now, that brings up one another very important question. How can TypeScript use new features which is not available in JavaScript and at the end it gives us regular JavaScript code? The answer is the TypeScript compiler compiles the new features of TypeScript to JavaScript using some workarounds in JavaScript. For example, we can write some code in TypeScript using its new features in a nice and simple way. But when it gets compiled to JavaScript, there that same nice and simple code will have complex JavaScript logic and syntax to achieve the same thing. So there is no magic here. Of course, TypeScript cannot output some JavaScript code with features which JavaScript does not support. While converting TypeScript code to JavaScript, the new features will be converted to JavaScript code using existing features of JavaScript. But in TypeScript, that code will be easy to write with new features. But same code in JavaScript will be a little bit complex and will use existing features of JavaScript. Another very important feature of TypeScript, which does not exist in JavaScript, is TypeScript is strongly typed. It allows you to specify a type for a variable explicitly. On the other hand, JavaScript is dynamically typed. So here in the left hand side, we have JavaScript code and in the right hand side, we have TypeScript code. So when we create a variable in JavaScript using let or const keyword, there we simply specify the variable name. We don't specify the type of data which that variable is going to store. For example, here I'm creating a variable num. To that, we are assigning this value 10. So since JavaScript is dynamically typed, the data type of this num will be calculated based on the value which we are storing in it. In this case, the data type of this num variable will be number. In the same way, in this str variable, we are storing a string value. So its data type will be dynamically calculated. And since we are storing a string value to it, its data type will be set to string. Now, the problem here is that 
let's say I'm creating a variable using let keyword and initially I'm assigning 100 to it. So here the data type of this val variable will be number. And in the latter point of time to that same val variable, now I'm assigning a string value. So here the data type of this val variable will change to string. Earlier it was number. Now, since we are storing a string value in it, its data type has changed to string. And that's why we say that JavaScript is dynamically typed. The data type of a variable in JavaScript is determined by the value which we are storing in it. And the variable's data type can change based on what type of value we are storing in it. But that is not the case in TypeScript. TypeScript is strongly typed. That means here when we are creating this num variable and we are assigning 10 to it, the data type of this num variable will be set to number. In the same way, when we are creating this str variable and when we are assigning a string value to it, its data type will be set to string. So later, we cannot go ahead and assign a number to it. For example, here we are creating this val variable again in TypeScript. And to this, I am assigning a numeric value. So the data type of this val variable will be set to number. Now, in the latter point of time, in the same val variable, if I try to assign a string value, we will get an error because its data type has already been set to number. So we cannot assign a string value to it. Also, if we want in TypeScript, we can explicitly specify the data type of a variable. For example, here, as you can see, for this num, I'm explicitly specifying that this num variable is only going to store a numeric value. This str variable, it is only going to store a string value. If we try to assign any other type of value to this variable, it is going to throw us an error. Now, what is the advantage of TypeScript being strongly typed? Well, it gives us an opportunity of identifying any errors in our code earlier before we run and compile the code. And it also allows us to identify and fix any bugs at the earlier stage of our development. Let's understand this with an example. So again, in the left hand side, I have JavaScript code and in the right hand side, I have TypeScript code. And here, what we are doing is we are creating a function called add, which should add two numbers and return us the result. Now here, when we are specifying this parameter num1 and num2, we are not specifying that this num1 and num2 should only receive a numeric value, right? Because that is not possible in JavaScript. You cannot specify a data type for a variable or a parameter. So when we are going to call this add function like we are doing here, at that time for this num1 and num2, we can pass any type of value. We can pass a string value, we can pass a numeric value, we can pass a boolean value, we can pass null, undefined, anything. And that will be assigned to this num1 and num2 parameter. So in this case, if a user tries to add two numbers, 3 and 5, but he has passed that number as a string value like we are doing here, in that case, the expected output will be 8. But here, the result will be 35. Why? Because since we are trying to use this plus operator on two string values, those two strings will get concatenated. It will not add them. It will concatenate them because they are string values. So in that case, we are going to get an unexpected result. But if the same thing we try to do in TypeScript, there we can explicitly specify what type of data we are expecting for this num1 and num2 parameter. In this case, we are explicitly specifying that for num1 and num2, we only want to get the numeric value. So while calling this add function, if we try to pass a string value or a Boolean value for this num1 and num2, we will immediately get an error and we can rectify it. So here, the TypeScript will only allow us to pass a numeric value for this num1 and num2. And in this way, we can avoid that bug. We can avoid that unexpected result. So this is the advantage of TypeScript being strongly typed. And we are going to talk about this feature in great detail in our coming lectures in this course. So let's quickly recap the advantages of using TypeScript, which we have talked about so far. First of all, we can explicitly specify the data type of a variable, which allows us to catch any error and avoid bugs while writing the code. Another advantage which we talked about is TypeScript also provides extra features which is not available in the current version of JavaScript. And this makes writing certain logics in TypeScript easy and simple. Without these features, writing the same code, 
writing the same logic might be a little bit complex but using the new features it makes writing the complex code easier and simple and also less error prone apart from new features typescript also has meta features like decorators which we will talk about in great detail in this course and typescript is also highly configurable in this course you will also learn in detail about typescript compiler and how to configure it so you can fine tune the typescript compiler to your requirement to make sure that it behaves in the way you want it to behave the only disadvantage with typescript is that it has one extra step of compiling the typescript code to javascript before it gets executed by the javascript runtime so this is the only disadvantage of using typescript all right so this was a very high level overview of what is typescript and why you might want to learn and use it in your project in the next lecture let's install and let's start using typescript this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day